So you want to create a beautiful scene with nature, where there's a lot of trees, bushes, grass and so on. And the question is, how the f*** to make all that vegetation? You can of course buy or download assets, but if you want to walk the way of 3D Samurai, you should do all from scratch. And with this I will help you. You will learn main methods of foliage creation and I will show you how to make it in Blender. So let's touch some grass. The main question you need to ask yourself is how much optimization you need. This will determine a method by which you will create a foliage. To start with, you will practically never model each branch and leaf for your final scene, except when there is a close-up. So if you want high quality vegetation, here's what you can do. Let's assume you're creating grass. First, create a plane. Next, assign a grass texture with mask to it. A texture can be from web, drawn, shoot or modeled and rendered. Just choose which you like and need. Then cut out blades of grass with knife tool. To make it look less flat, deform each blade. Next create a grass cluster from all blades, group them and randomly place the instances on the ground with variations in size and rotation. Done! This method allows you to make high quality simulation of vegetation, which element is independent, has its own physics and looks great. The main disadvantage is optimization, because a lot of geometry is created. So this method is useful when you need maximum quality of vegetation or simulation, for example in visualization or if it's close to a camera in a game. But if vegetation in the background, or you don't want to use nanite, there is another method. So let's look at it. And then I will tell you how to create different types of vegetation. So, this method allows you to achieve better optimization. But it has its own disadvantages. Let's assume that you want to create leaves. Start by making a plane, add texture to it, and then cut out not each element, but their group. In this case the whole branch. Then deform it, place it on a tree, and it's done. The advantage of this approach is optimization. But vegetation is less realistically deformed, looks worse, especially when viewed from above, and can occur over draw. This is when many elements with transparency overlap. It's hard for program to calculate this, and performance problems occur. So you should keep an eye on intersection of elements. And now let's talk about how to create different types of vegetation. Trees. A tree trunk and large branches are usually modeled or sculpted. The leaves and small branches are placed on them manually or with particle system, geonodes or plugin. Grass and flowers are created as I showed in first example. These are either individual blades of grass gathered in the group, or one or two planes with a texture for the whole bunch of grass. Vines and similar plants are created using curves. You draw a curve, make a branch from it, and then place leaves on it. Bushes are made in a similar way to trees. Most and small vegetation is created by applying a texture on the surface, geonodes, or similar to grass. You can also use specific programs such as P3 to create vegetation. This will significantly speed up some of the steps. And now a couple of tricks. If you want more optimization, try to use as few textures as possible. For example, six textures can be packed into three images. How? By using channels, where black and white textures is written into each channel. This way we reduce the number of files, but we don't lose information. And the second trick will allow you to make foliage planes less noticeable. Suppose you created a tree. But since branches and vegetation are just planes, shading destroys the illusion of volume. To smooth out this effect we use normals, because this is what tells us how light interacts with the surface. To do this we'll create a geometry that wraps around the foliage and then project its normals onto the foliage. Now the light will be calculated as if you have volume in the foliage. And let's summarize. The main step is to understand what you need. Optimization, quality or creation time. And based on that, either use one of the methods or find the right assets online. Nevertheless, now you know how it all works. And will be able to work with any asset and foliage. And this will be it. Thank you for watching, hit like and subscribe. And I wish you beautiful nature scenes.